They're finally here. Hey guys, thank you for joining for another episode of Skate Everywhere. I am so excited today. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. I have been on the market to buy a pair of outdoor skates for a couple of months now and have been just mulling over what skates I wanted to buy and they're finally here. This is my first unboxing video that I've ever created, so bear with me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Before I get to the unboxing part, I ordered these skates from a skate shop out of Loveland, Colorado. They're called Skate Rats. I had a great experience with the ordering and shipping process. A lot of questions initially about my skate setup and they were very responsive to my messages and I can't say enough good things about them. So shout out to Skate Rats out of Loveland, Colorado. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for getting me this care package in the middle of quarantine. You guys were fast, you guys were responsive, and it was an awesome all-around experience. So I guess I'll start with the unboxing part. Using my husband's knife, cut away from yourself. Safety first. I am not qualified to handle sharp objects. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This may be the first and the last unboxing video I ever do. Mom, help, help. I think I got it. Moment of truth, I'm so excited. Ooh, so first things first. Hi, Ziki. Another plug for Skate Rats. They sent me this sweet sticker. Seeky approves. What do you think, buddy? What else is in here? Tag us in your story, Parker Derby, skaterats.com. Yes, I will be tagging you in this unboxing video, and I'm sure plenty of my videos in the future featuring your skates, hopefully. Oh man, and they sent me stickers. Awesome. Indoor, outdoor, glossy vinyl stickers will be a great addition to my helmet. <laughs> Look at these happy people washing their hands with these stickers. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh God. Look at this. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> yeah. Could you ask for a better looking skate? The answer is no. Oh, they just smell like fresh vans. There's the other one. Oh my gosh. You know when you go to the store and you buy a fresh pair of sneakers and it's just the best feeling ever to have a fresh pair of sneakers on your feet and then they come with roller skates on the bottom? Life really doesn't get better than this. This looks like a, a toolkit, some laces, instructions on my Chicks and Bowls slide block installation. Thank you, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. So this is what's considered to be a custom built sneaker skate set up. So you basically take a traditional van sneaker and you build an entire skate platform onto the bottom of it. The boot is built out of vans, which I personally love. I've always worn vans at, since I was a teenager. I think they are the best and most comfortable skate shoe brand out there. So in my opinion, there's no better skate shoe to build roller skates out of than Vans. Also opted for the white magnesium Avanti plates. These are lighter than the aluminum models and in my personal opinion look a lot sleeker with the uh, Vans setup with the black sneaker and the white rubber soles. The white plates just look so much better and they are significantly lighter than, than the aluminum. Also upgraded to the Park Series trucks. 
these trucks sit a little bit higher up on the skate and have a little bit more kingpin clearance so they really are built specifically for the park I may take these out and replace them with the other trucks just for regular street skating but I'm definitely gonna leave these in here for when I um, go and hit the park up and as you can see I have the chicks and bowls branded slider I am so excited to get this bad boy out in the park. Haven't spent a whole lot of time in the park, so I am super excited to put these to good use and learn a little more park things. And lastly, Skate Rats outfitted these skates with Chicks and Bowls reckless wheels. These were the first wheels ever created for aggressive roller skating. I am likely going to take these guys off and replace them with my normal outdoor wheels. I normally ride pulses that are 78. Um, I like a little bit of a softer wheel for outdoors. So I will probably keep these guys specifically for the park and use my Adam wheels for normal street skating like you've seen in my previous vlog episodes. So yeah, I am super stoked about these skates. They look amazing. They smell like new shoes. What else could you ask for in a roller skate, honestly? I am going to get these guys out on the streets in the next couple of days and hopefully bring you a full review video. My first impressions on my overall experience with what it's like turning a skate shoe into a roller skate. I'm a little nervous about the ankle support or lack thereof in these skates. Um, we'll see if I miss it once I'm out on the streets actually full on roller skating in these. So that's all I have to say about that. So now it's time to take them outside and put them to the test. In my excitement, I threw my skates on and hit the roads to give them their first maiden voyage. And what I didn't do is check the trucks to see how stiff they were. Turns out they were super stiff, so I basically fell over immediately uh, and almost killed myself. Thank, thank God I was wearing pads. So I took the skates back in and did some tweaking, loosened up the trucks, replaced the Chicks and Bulls Reckless wheels with my Adam wheels. This is what we've got. I am really hoping that I can give you my initial thoughts and feelings on these custom vans. We are on a hill. Oh, a couple thoughts. The vans are a lot heavier than derby skates. It could just be the Park Series trucks that are a little bit heavier, but I'm definitely feeling it. You don't have the same pushing leverage that you do in normal derby skates, that's for sure. about the custom vans. First thing, they are so comfortable. You can't go wrong with vans. They are the greatest skate shoe of all time. They are insanely comfortable. They're a little flat, but honestly, I kind of like that for outdoor skating. Skating in derby and you need a tight, form-fitting boot, that makes perfect sense. But when you're skating outdoors, comfort is everything. <laughs> the vans look good, they feel good. I'm gonna say this a million times, you just can't go wrong with vans for a boot. The next thing I love is the plate. Initially, I kind of felt like I was standing on stilts when I put these on, but now that I've loosened up the trucks and put my outdoor wheels on, man, they are awesome. The extra height gives you so much more leverage. It feels like you're riding a longboard. The ride is smooth. I'm very comfortable at high speeds.
And now, people who skate the park probably already know this, but the park series trucks are incredibly wide, much different from most roller derby trucks. They give you just a tremendous amount of extra stability, especially for downhill skating. my go-to skate for any kind of skate marathon. <laughs> Just a little too heavy, and not enough ankle support, but man, they're comfortable. Jilly, do a trick. I don't have any tricks. No, cool kid. You are a cool kid. You're yeah, the coolest cool kid, kid I know. And you're my favorite Instagram husband. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I am for hire. Uh, $25 a picture, so you owe me. Whoa! <laughs> I do really find myself taking much more purposeful strides in these skates. I am a very spastic roller skater, usually very reliant on my toe stops, and that is something you cannot be on these skates. You need to make sure that all four wheels are on the ground, so I'm finding myself taking very purposeful strides, slow and easy with more power. And I mean, that's really what these are for. These are for park. They're supposed to be incredibly stable with all four wheels on the ground. So it's just an adjustment for me and my style of skating. For all, I'm super excited about my custom vans. I am so excited to take them to the park and really put them to the test. First impression, out the gate. I'm going to rate these skates based on how they performed in just normal street skating, just kind of cruising around town, nothing too fancy. They are, they are good and they are comfortable and they feel like a longboard, but there are a couple things I don't like as much. I don't like how heavy they are. They are incredibly flat-footed, which again is great for park, not so great for hills. But I recommend them to a brand new skater as their first pair of outdoor roller skates. Probably not. They definitely lack the stability that a New York skater should have when they're learning to skate. But if you do want to get into park riding, I'm sure that this is the setup you want to look into. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If you like these videos, consider clicking subscribe. Leave me a comment about things you'd like to see. If you're a newer skater, I'd love to start making some random advice videos for newer skaters. If there's any kind of skate related content you particularly want to see us do, shenanigans, places that we could try skating outdoors, tricks you want to see. June? Yes. You up for some tricks? Tricky. June's always up Trick for some Daddy. tricks. Give us a like. Hit subscribe. Thanks again for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Goodbye!